हॅलो आय एम डॉक्टर मंजिरी वळसंकर डायरेक्टर भिडे हॉस्पिटल टेस्टिव बेबी सेंटर नवी पेठ पुणे टुडे वी आर गोईंग टू डिस्कस अ व्हेरी इम्पॉर्टंट टॉपिक पर्टेनिंग टू एम्ब्रिओ ट्रान्सफर डज एंडोमेट्रियल प्रायमिंग ड्युरेशन दॅट इज हाऊ मेनी डेज ऑफ इस्टडी ऑल डू यू टेक बिफोर द एम्ब्रिओ ट्रान्सफर डिसाईड द सक्सेस रेट्स or rather is it important the duration is important or we can wait for a little while for the embryo transfer so what happens is normally now we follow the frozen embryo transfer protocols so in the first cycle we make the baby we freeze the baby by vitrification or cryo and this baby remains with us till we decide to transfer the embryos after the next period we start developing the endometrium of the lady by artificially giving her certain estradiol products that is estrogen this estrogen duration can vary between 1 week to even as high as 3 weeks to 4 weeks time what is not important is the duration but what is important is whether at the end point of estradiol priming have we got the perfect endometrium have we got a triple line or a trilaminar endometrium have we got the best vascularity on doppler on applebaum scoring that is up to zone 4 which all means that do we feel that functionally the endometrium is to the best of its capacity so qualitatively how the endometrium looks and have whether it has crossed around 8 to 9 mm of endometrial thickness is what decides the results in ivf so all in all it is not how much duration do you take for endometrial priming before the embryo transfer but what is the quality of the priming which will decide whether a patient will conceive with test tube baby or not thank you